Okay, so we are here in our main classroom meeting. You will notice that uh, you can't see anybody on the screen right now because I'm the only one in the meeting and my webcam is uh, not picking me up for our classroom space here in Teams right now because it's currently in use to record me uh, creating this video. So if I want to get into the breakout room from the main classroom, I am not going to click on the hang up button that will kick me out of this meeting and I still want to be in this meeting. I just want to join another meeting at the same time. So I would go over here to the teams icon on the side of my meeting. And that's going to bring me back to my general teams meeting space. You'll see that there's an icon here next to the general room indicating that I'm in the middle of a live meeting and it's up here in the corner right now if I want to maximize this and get back into it. Now, my teacher has told me that I am to join breakout room A, breakout group A, and we'll work on some activities in there. So I'm going to click on breakout group A, and I'm in a space here now very similar to the general space. I can chat with anybody else who is in this uh, channel right now. I can share files. We can share notes. We can add other apps. What I'm going to do in here now is click on join or meet now down here in the bottom. Same button that I clicked on a few minutes ago when I set up my general class meeting. And this will be breakout A. Click on meet now. It's going to bring me into this meeting. And you'll see that there's a little box up here telling me that I'm in another live meeting at the same time. This is the, the uh, main classroom. I can switch back and forth between these two rooms with ease. Again, don't click on the hang up button if you don't want to leave the classroom space or the breakout room space altogether. Just click on this button up here to resume your meeting. It puts the other meeting on hold for me and brings me back into the main classroom. And you'll see that I have breakout room A still listed up here. And it's telling me that I can get back into here simply by clicking on resume, or I can hang up and leave that meeting altogether, which I don't want to do. So I can toggle back and forth between the breakout room and the main classroom as needed. And this will work for both teachers or students. You can move back and forth between both rooms. Well, let's say that as the teacher, I want to join breakout room B as well so that I can pop into that. Again, I can click on Teams here. I can click on breakout room B. Click on Meet Now. And it has started up another meeting for me. I'm in breakout room B. You can see that I have breakout A also available here and my main classroom here. I can move back and forth between all of those with ease. So now that I'm here in breakout room A with my fellow students, I want to work on something. We don't want to just stare at each other's faces on this screen and have a general chat. Presumably we are here to collaborate on an assignment or to work on some small group activity during class time. I can go back to my team space here make sure that I'm in the correct breakout area so I can get back into our live meeting by clicking on the button here. I can get back in here by clicking on this block over here. I now have available my chat area as well as files. So as a member of this breakout channel, I can upload files in here. We can uh, share and copy links to each other. There's lots that we can work on. Um, Presumably, as a teacher, I might want to upload a file in advance for my students to work on. So I'm going to do that now. I have a file here. It's a template of a Word document that we used in uh, 5103 last term. So I can upload that file. Any one of the group can now access it. Click on this button uh, to open the document. Click on Edit. Everyone in the class will need to click on Edit so that they can open this document in Office 365 online. And now we can collaborate on this document. It's not going to let me overwrite something if my classmate is already typing on uh, one of these lines. It will gray out the bits that I'm not able to edit because somebody else has already grabbed it. But we can collaborate on this document. It's going to auto-save everything and then we can share this document later on to review it when we come back together in the main classroom.